welcome to windowsreport.com, I'm Henrik Fey. In today's video we're going to look at how to fix the Windows Network Error 0x800704CF. This error usually occurs on Windows 10, every time you try to access a network's PC or when a workgroup is initiated. In this video we'll show you a couple of steps on how to fix this. First of all, change your adapter settings. What you have to do for this is press Windows plus the I key. Then in here go to Network and Internet. Then scroll down until you see change adapter settings and left click on that. Then you should see your ethernet or Wi-Fi, whatever you use to connect to the Wi-Fi. Right click on it and press on properties. And now uncheck the first one, the client for Microsoft network. So uncheck that and then just press on OK and reboot your machine. See if that fixes the issue. The second method is to reset your TCP IP. So if the first method didn't fix it, try using this method. All that you have to do is type in cmd and right click on command prompt and run it as an administrator. And then press yes. Now in here, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush dns and hit enter. In here again, type in nbtstat space minus p uh, minus rr and hit enter. And then again, type in netch space int space ip space reset and hit enter. Now try to reboot your computer. And the last command you must perform is cmd is space netch space winshark space reset and hit enter. Now all that you have to do is reset your computer and see if that fixed the issue. The third and last solution is to reinstall your network adapters. On the bottom left, by the search icon, go in there and type in device manager. And then open the first thing that should pop up. Once you're in here, go to view and then put in show hidden devices. Click on that. Now go to your network adapters, which is right down here and click on this little arrow on the right. And then once you're in here, just right click on each and every single one and press uninstall device. And when you've done that for each and every single one, click on action on the top and press scan for hardware changes. And then save your changes and reboot your Windows 10 PC. If that still didn't fix the issue, make sure to check out the full article in the description down below, which will show you a couple of more steps on how to do this. If it did fix the issue, be sure to subscribe. 